Portal, a post-apocalyptic novel by Bruno Miller, is a tale of survival, perseverance, and the human spirit's unyielding will to live in the face of dystopian adversity. The novel follows the story of Vince, a former member of the United States Army, as he navigates a world ravaged by a series of cataclysmic events. The decimation has rendered society into fragmented remnants, where the remnants of humanity must fend off not just the harsh conditions of a world in ruins, but also the darker inclinations of those who thrive in the chaos. The narrative begins with a stark depiction of the world that Vince finds himself in, a world altered by the mysterious appearance of portals that have wreaked havoc on the planet. These portals have not only caused massive environmental disasters and societal collapse, but have also introduced otherworldly dangers that further exacerbate the struggles of the survivors. Throughout the story, Vince encounters a diverse cast of characters, each with their own backstory and motives, including fellow survivors, a group of children, and a woman named Anna, who becomes a significant companion on his journey. Together, they must navigate the treacherous landscape riddled with threats from marauding gangs, mutant creatures, and scarcity of resources. Vince takes it upon himself to provide for and protect his group, relying on his military experience and survival skills as they travel from one precarious location to the next. As the group moves through desolate cities and remote areas, they are faced with the necessary evil of confronting and overcoming other groups vying for domination and resources. Throughout these encounters, Vince and his companions are forced to make difficult decisions that test their morals and humanity. The group eventually discovers that the portals are more than just anomalies causing chaos. They learn that there are individuals who have harnessed the power of the portals for their own gain, manipulating the portals' energies to attain power and control. These antagonists present a new and formidable threat, and Vince's group must work to understand the nature and technology behind the portals to stand a chance against those exploiting them. As the narrative unfolds, the characters' personal narratives intertwine with the larger quest to find a semblance of stability and peace in a world turned upside down. Vince and Anna's relationship serves as a focal point for the emotional struggles inherent in forming bonds when tomorrow is never guaranteed. Themes of loss, love, and what it means to uphold one's values in a lawless world are explored through their interactions and the choices they are faced with. Throughout their journey, the group stumbles upon clues and pieces of information that reveal the origins and purpose of the portals. It becomes apparent that the portals are connected to a larger narrative involving government projects and scientific experiments gone awry. The group posits that the portals might be manipulated to reverse some of the damage caused, or at least enable humanity to adapt to its new reality. As they delve deeper into the complexity of the situation, Vince and his companions face steeper odds and more dangerous adversaries. The group dynamics are tested as they grapple with internal conflicts and the relentless pressure of their environment. Loyalties are both formed and broken as the essential quest for survival amplifies each character's underlying traits, be they selfish or altruistic. In the latter part of the novel, the focus shifts to the potential for rebuilding and setting up a safe haven for themselves and other survivors they encounter. Vince becomes a de facto leader drawing on his military background and survivalist ethos to establish order within their group and among other survivors. The community they begin to build is tentative but hopeful, with Vince and his allies laying the groundwork for something that could outlast their lifetimes. However, even as Vince's community begins to take shape, the persistent threat from those who control the portals continues to loom over them. A climax is reached when Vince and his colleagues enact a daring plan to confront the antagonists and secure a future for themselves. This culminates in a series of intense encounters and battles that test the mettle of each character to its core. Ultimately, the resolution of the conflict with the portal controllers is fraught with tragedy and sacrifice. The novel concludes with Vince and the remnants of his group understanding that while they may have won a significant battle, the war for the future is ongoing. There is hope mixed with uncertainty, with the implications of their actions on the portals offering both promise and peril for what might come next.
Portal, a post-apocalyptic novel, traverses the familiar terrain of post-apocalyptic fiction, but does so through the lens of its unique portal-based calamity. Vince's leadership, the perseverance of the survivors, and the unexplored potential of the portals leave readers contemplating the many ways in which such a reality could unfold. The novel is an exploration of human resilience and the capacity for individuals to rise above the ashes of civilization. It highlights the concept that even in the darkest times, hope can be found and a new beginning can emerge from the end of the world as we know it. Bruno Miller's portrayal of a fragmented yet fighting human spirit serves as a testament to the enduring power of community and the unrelenting pursuit of a better tomorrow, no matter how grim the circumstances. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.